Lesson 12.3b, Finding the Distance Between Any Two Points, the Distance Formula. The Pythagorean Theorem can be used to find the distance between any two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, in the coordinate plane. The resulting expression is called the Distance Formula. Now, we've discussed this before. These little numbers down here are called subscripts. We would read this as x subscript 1, or x sub 1, and this is y subscript 1, y sub 1, and it means the first points x and y values. This would be the x and y values for the second point. So for your notes, this is the distance formula. In a coordinate plane, the distance d between two points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 is d is equal to the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Since the x and y values are squared and a negative times a negative is equal to a positive, the x and y values can be negative values for a positive value length. Because remember, a length can only be a positive number. Finding the length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle is the same as finding the distance between two endpoints of the hypotenuse in the coordinate plane. We have d is equal to the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared, the distance formula. We look at the points. We have this point is negative 1 for x and negative 1 for y, and this one is 2 for x, 5 for y. Points are read from left to right, so this would be the first point, that would be the second point, and we know that the first point is negative 1, negative 1, and 2, 5. We can substitute these values into this formula to get 2, which is our x sub 2, minus negative 1 squared plus the second y value 5 minus the first y value negative 1 squared. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to derive, that means obtain, the distance formula. The first step is to find the distance between points A and B. We draw segment AB and label its length D. Then draw horizontal segment AC and vertical segment BC. We label the lengths of these segments with lowercase letters as A and B. Notice the points are labeled with uppercase letters and we labeled the sides with lowercase letters. Triangle ABC is a right triangle with hypotenuse AB, which we have now labeled D. The second step is, since segment AC is a horizontal segment, its length A is the difference between its x-coordinates. It's the difference between this x-coordinate and this x-coordinate, between 7 and 1. Therefore, A is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And since segment BC is a vertical segment, its length B is the difference between its y-coordinates. Therefore, B is equal to the second y value, y sub 2, minus the first y value, y sub 1. That would be 7 for y minus 1 for y. The fourth step, use the Pythagorean theorem to find d, the length of segment AB. We substitute the expressions from step 2, a is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1, and step 3, b is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and d is equal to c in the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We can write the c squared on this side if we want to. Since d is c, we can write d squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And since a is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we can write a as 
x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared to be a squared. And we can write b as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared to be b squared. We take the square of both sides. We've done that before. We remove the two exponent from this side of the equal sign, from the d, and we put a radical sign around the other side, and we now have the distance formula. Here we have the Pythagorean theorem. We have a squared. Well, a squared of the Pythagorean theorem is the x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared of the distance formula. b squared in the Pythagorean theorem is the y sub 2 minus y sub 1 in the distance formula. Now let's take a close look at these points. a is at x sub 1, y sub 1, and that's at 1 for x, 1 for y. b is at x sub 2, y sub 2, which is 7 for x, 7 for y, and c is at x sub 2, y sub 1, which is 7 for x, 1 for y. Do you notice that point c has the same x value as point B and the same Y value as point A. Therefore, point C is X sub 2, Y sub 1. Its X value is the same as the B X value. Its Y value is the same as point A. It's 7 for X, 1 for Y. Now, I want you to be aware as you go through your years in math, you're going to see this formula, distance is equal to the rate divided by the time. That's called the rate of change formula. Some people mistakenly call this the distance formula because it's got a D here for distance. That's not. This is the rate of change formula. And this is the distance formula. It's to find the distance between two points. So be very careful and don't accidentally call this the distance formula, okay? This formula helps you find the rate of change over time. We're finished with part B. We're moving on to C, find the distance between two points. Let's actually use the distance formula. As always, have a wonderful day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.